welcome to yet another episode of the think filter show today we are going to discuss about parts washing or component washing as some may some may call it because this is the most important or crucial step in achieving your desired millipore values so let's look into the depth of your parts washing process one by one as you are aware having an excellent component washing machine will help you achieve the desired millipore value now having a good component washing machine what exactly does it mean so one of the feature of the component washing machine should be that uh, the desired millipore value is achieved reliably so it should not be the case that the uh, washing machine is ach achieving the desired specification initially but as it gets older uh, well it is going out of specification second most important thing is that it should achieve the desired result continuously it should not be the case that for one particular batch it is performing well and not for other batches so all in all having a good component washing machine is definitely a must that is the first step towards making sure that you are uh, adhering to the millipore uh, requirements set out by your customer another important aspect to judge a good quality component washing machine is the time it takes to reliably clean your component so the faster the machine obviously it is the better and especially when you are uh, a uh, high volume parts manufacturer having a faster machine will definitely prove beneficial now we are associated with a lot of component washing machine manufacturers throughout our well history so if you want any uh, recommendations definitely contact us and we'll get you in touch with relevant people second important aspect in the whole uh, parts washing or component washing activity is having a effective filtration system for your degrease chemical now as you are aware uh, alkaline degrease solution is used in these component washing machine which are normally at an elevated temperature so normally at around 60 to 70 degrees centigrade now why these uh, elevated temperatures well it is proven and there are various studies you can find those online that at elevated temperatures dirt that sticks to a component uh, especially a metallic component dirt gets washed away effectively if the cleaning uh, chemical or the cleaning agent is at a higher or a elevated temperature so your filtration system uh, needs to take care of this fact now let me just explain why a filtration system is required for Uh, your cleaning chemical now let's try to understand that the function of this cleaning chemical is well to clean your component debris that comes into this chemical if that is not filtered out or removed effectively and if you keep on circulating that in your machine if your component washing machine certainly there will it will reach a point where instead of removing the uh, dirt from the component it will keep on adding to the component and then the obvious uh, step that you have to take is to discard the entire bath now generally these component washing machines have huge tanks so like 1000 liters or 1200 liters 1500 liter tanks and they are completely filled so imagine you have to drain out 1500 liters of chemical uh, frequently now it is not only about the environment certainly it is not good for environment that you are discarding such huge volumes of chemicals frequently but it it is also affecting your bottom line because keep in mind that since these chemicals are uh, at an elevated temperature discarding a, a bath you are losing on power or you are spending more on heating the new solution from 
which is at a room temperature so from room temperature you will have to raise the uh, temperature of this new bath to the desired level that will take power and it will take time as well so all in all it not only proves to be expensive affair to throw away your degrees chemical frequently it proves to be harmful for the environment as well uh, all this adds to the cost which either affects your bottom line or increases your um, selling price so having a filtration system in line with your uh, component washing machine to filter out uh, debris from the uh, degreased chemical will solve most of these issues and uh, will help you achieve the desired millipore values right at the go third important aspect when it comes to the uh, component cleaning activity is the tram point so let's try to understand what exactly is tram point so the components that you manufacture they go through various manufacturing processes each manufacturing process involves a lot of machine tool or machining time now during this machining uh, for some processes you might be using a neat cutting oil or for some uh, you might be using a water based emulsion coolant now if you are using a neat cutting oil the residual oil definitely sticks to your uh, component which is eventually washed in the component washing machine in case of water based emulsion coolants the machine or the machining process tends to generate free floating oil which is basically a contaminant so that oil may be from your uh, hydraulic systems in the machine or from the lubrication lubricating systems from your machines or from a previous operation uh, the workpiece has some oil on it that gets added in your coolant all in all this starts this oil is called tramp oil so tramp oil means unwanted oil on your process fluid so all this gets added in your degrease chemical when the component comes for uh, in your component washing machine now the the function of the uh, component washing machine is to not only remove the solid impurities but also to remove the tramp oil as well so the tramp oil sticking to your components will enter the chemical used for cleaning and will start floating over it and over time this tramp oil builds up on the degrees chemical and when you uh, pump it uh, on the components in the machine instead of removing the dirt because of this tramp oil the dirt starts sticking to the component even further hence removing this tramp oil is absolutely essential a very crucial step in uh, achieving your desired millipore value now in millipore testing we get to know the weight of the solid impurity or the impurity as you can imagine tramp oil is not a solid impurity however what tramp oil does is that because of the sticky nature of the oil the solid impurities are trapped by this oil on the surface of the degrease chemical and when we test this chemical uh, this solid contamination also gets added to the uh, millipore value so tramp oil may not be directly affecting your uh, millipore value but since it traps the solid contaminants it indirectly definitely affects your uh, millipore value let me share a very interesting story the, what happened with one of our customers now uh, the customer that i am talking is a very big uh, two wheeler manufacturer in in india now they were having uh, various component washing machines throughout their shop floor for various components for cylinder heads pistons cylinder blocks things like that they were they realized that not only are they uh, not achieving their desired millipore uh, at the end of each cycle they the frequency at which they have to discard their uh, degrease chemical is also quite high and third the 
cost of uh, this degrees chemical that they were using was also high because the degrees chemical supplier had recommended their product advertising that uh, you go for our product and you will achieve the millipore values yes they were achieving the millipore values to a certain extent but since they had to discard their chemical frequently it was uh, the cost was getting added up and their management decided that they need to come down on their on this consumable cost so they approached us and when we saw the trend of the millipore values and saw the process and uh, analyzed the uh, degrees chemical we realized that in the solid impurities were quite low but the tramp oil was extremely high i will share a photo over here so in this photo you will see a big layer of just floating tramp oil that the degrees chemical was having now all this was adding to their millipore value and because of this tramp oil uh, there was bacterial growth that was happening on their degrees chemical due to which it used to smell bad and they had to change their chemical frequently so we installed our coalescers on these uh, component washing machines and within 3 months the customer they realized that they didn't have to change the uh, degrees chemical as frequently to be specific earlier they used to discard this this entire bath uh, of all their component washing machines every month and just by adding an effective tramp oil separation system that uh, frequency increased to 6 months another important thing they noticed that since they are removing the oil effectively they don't need to use a expensive degrees chemical so they uh, switched over to a much lesser or much cheaper alternative and they were achieving the same results so all in all they not only uh, saved on uh, discarding costs i mean the life of the chemical increased but the cost of chemical also reduced since they were achieving the result just by removing tramp oil effectively and continuously in conclusion you must have understood through this video and the example that i shared is that how important this step of component cleaning is so it not just starts with a, having a good component cleaning machine or component washing machine but it also involves a uh, peripheral or accessories to this machine that is the filtration system and an effective tramp oil separation system so we can help you in the latter two that is the filtration and the tramp oil separation but if you have any questions uh, regarding the component cleaning process itself do let us know because we are uh, associated with a lot of component cleaning manufacturers over the years and certainly we will uh, get those questions answered from them uh, to the best of our ability thank you